Hey y'all, it's Carly. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch another video today. I am so, so excited because today's video is going to be all student themed. I'm going to be setting up my student planner with you guys and happy notes. And I'm also going to be showing you guys a little tour of my desk and my student space. So I'm so excited, so let's get into the video. Before we do anything else, I just wanted to share exactly what I'm going to be using for school and I will be linking all these products down below so you guys can purchase the same things. So the first thing is this happy planner. These actually, this cover comes from a happy notes and these discs are black metal discs from a past happy planner, be happy box. So you can't, I don't think you can get these discs anymore, but you can definitely use plastic discs that are black. But this cover is from a happy notes that I will link down below for you guys. But this year for my school year, I'm going to be using the teacher layout. This is what the teacher layout looks like. It is so great and functional for me and my planning style. My freshman year, I used a student layout. And then last year for my sophomore year, I used a teacher layout and I found that that works best for me. So this year, for my junior year, I'm going to be using the teacher layout. This happy notes that I will link down below. I'm going to be using this for my writing notes. If I ever research things for my papers, I will write them in here. This happy notes is so beautiful. It's so me. I love the color pink and look at this neutral and the paper inside is even prettier. It has dotted line and it um, has this beautiful pattern on the side that I love so much. So I will link this one down below as well. I'm so excited to set this up with you guys. The last Happy Notes I'm going to be using is this one. It's so beautiful. It's a big sized Happy Notes. And I'm going to be using this to print out my Algebra 2 notes and punch with the big Happy Planner punch and put them in here so I can watch my videos that are online and then write them in while I'm doing this. This Happy Notes is breathtaking. It is so beautiful. It has, it has beautiful watercolors and amazing quotes. And the paper is also so, so unique and beautiful. So I will link this one also down below. So some of my other favorite um, student supplies are mild liners. These are highlighters that I love. You can get these at Target or on Amazon. Um, the thing I love the most about them is that they have one side that's a highlighter like this. And the other side has this more like a felt tip pen on this other side that is so great for writing notes into. So highlighter and writing is so great and they have the most beautiful colors um, and I have so many of these. So these are my favorite for taking notes, for studying, for all of those. Some other favorites of my pens that I use daily. Um, for homework and stuff, I use mechanical pencils. This one's from Target. I just find that mechanical pencils last longer and they're so much better for me. I'm actually a lefty. If you are a lefty, let me know down below. Um, and then some other of my favorites are these Muji pens. I use these in all of my planners for all of my notes and they are my favorite pens, so I'll link these down below too. And then when I want to make my school notes more fun or even my planner more fun, I use the Papermate flare pens to make them a little bit more fun. If I have a big thing to do, I like using this to make it really bold so I can see what I need to do. So I will link all those things down below. Those are some of my favorite happy planner and other school supplies that I think you guys would love using too. So now that I have shared some of my favorite school supplies, I want to show you guys my desk now and where I'm going to be studying and doing school this year. So let's go. Okay, you guys, so welcome to my desk space. I am obsessed with my desk. This is actually a built-in desk, so you can't purchase this desk. It came with the house. It's always been in my room, and I just love it. It has a desk, two drawers, a little shelf, and then three or four shelves up there. So let's go ahead and start from this side of the room, and we'll move that way. So this is my planner cart that I used to keep all of my stickers in, but now those are in my other craft space. So let's start up at the top. Up here, I have this little caddy from, I think, the dollar section at Target. Um, and here I have a little block pad that I love, um, another little list, a notebook, and a little shopping list. Um, and then right here I have my gratitude planner and my social media planner. And then in here I have some of my favorite Instax Polaroid pictures. This is a book for my Polaroid picture and some note cards. And right here I have some other pictures that I really love of me and some of my friends and cousins and stuff like that. And here I have some really pretty pencils that I really like in this Magnolia jar. I got it when I went to Waco, which was super fun. Then I have these rose gold 
um, stationary sets that I really like. And then in here I have these thumbtacks for my felt board that um, I got from Target in these little jars. And then right here I have some paper clips that are gold. Let's move down to the next level. So in here I have all of my stationery and cards that I use to write thank yous or whatever. That's my Instax printer and that's a little plant. Um, I think it's from Home Goods. And then down here I actually have my hair scarves that I like to wear um, in the summer. So that, oh, and I have this little um, I am enough um, mirror sticker that can stick on things and remove. And that is from a Be Happy box. I believe the Teresa Collins one. So. That is my planner cart. Let's move on over here to my desk. So right here is my work board. I got the board from Home Goods, and the other things are just some things I really like. Um, so here are all my masks that I keep here. I have some enamel pins. Um, I think this this one's from a Be Happy box, and these two are from um, I don't remember if it's, I think it's from the Planner Babe line. I have this little Instax picture of my cousin at the beach. I got this um, print. These both are from a girl named Isabella. I will link her account below so you guys can go and purchase them. She's an Etsy seller and she's incredible. Um, here's a picture of me and my cousin. And then this I actually printed off of Pinterest. So that's a one tip I have for you guys for making your student space um, motivating and inspirational. It's just printing things for free off of Pinterest. This was free and it makes the little corkboard so fun. I have this little um, silhouette picture that I got done in 2006 when I was two years old. So it's really special. And then that quote that my mom wrote, I think that I like up there. Um, and then over here, I have some of my favorite devotionals and a Bible. I love these books, so I keep them right here. In this little container, I keep my pens and my brush mild liners. So these are like the other ones, but they have a brush tip and a normal tip. So those are really special. I got those from Target too. Then I have this beautiful rose and hemp seed candle that I got for my birthday a few weeks ago. A frame with my family in it. I think this frame is from Home Goods. And then these blue light glasses that are from Amazon. Here is my catch-all planner. I always leave it out so I can see what I need to do. And then let's pull. This chair also came with the desk, so I can't link it, but here is my first drawer. It's not the most organized, but this is what it looks like. So those are some extra face masks. And then this, um, these are just things that I can put on my corkboard later if I wanna switch things out. Here are some other things that I still need to give to people. My wallet, and then some extra stickers that I love. Um, notepads, and then right here I have other notepads, fairy lights. Um, I have some gift cards in here, little um, clips. And then these are the Happy Planner bracelets from the companion packs. So that's that drawer. It's not my pride and joy, but it's pretty good. In here, it's, we're a little bit more organized. Um, so right here, I keep all my mechanical pencils in here for school. So that's where I keep all my mechanical pencils. Right here I have all of my, my calculator and all my other math things. I have this charger um, that I need just in case. And back here I have extra school stuff, extra mechanical pencils, trash bags for my craft trash can, an old phone, all that. And then I have a bunch of the big sticky notes right here. Um, some extra other things like enamel pins, some chapstick if I ever need any of that. Some more sticky notes, those mild liners I showed you earlier, some smaller ones for studying. And then I have these paper clips that are really pretty. I love these. This one's a little heart one, so cute. And then these are little um, more paper clips, but the ones that um, you can stick at the top of your planner so you can see where you are. So that is my second drawer. Now let's move down to the cabinet this is actually where i keep all of my school stuff this year so right here i have some folders with really important um things in them like driving stuff squad stuff all that i'm actually going to be taking the pages off of this book bound notes for my algebra 2 and i'm going to be um punching them into my happy notes, that big one. So I'm gonna be keeping all the other pages in this big um, file folder um, that I think I got from Home Goods. I'm not sure. And then I have my science right here, and then this is the notes notebook I'm going to be using for my algebra homework. And then down here I have literature books and history books. And these are my DVDs that I have to watch for um, 
science. And then down here, I have some extra graph paper and an extra notebook, and then this little basket that I'm going, probably going to fill with things when I need it. And then back there are just some cords, a candle, lighting stuff, kind of random. Um, but that is what's in there. So let's move up to the shelves. So in these two magazine files, I have this over here. I have a one of my favorite block pads and then two journals. This is my YouTube notebook that I use for other things. This Happy Notes I've been using for Bible studies or summer things, just kind of my summer 2020 notebook. Some other extra papers that I I'm not using right now. And then this is where I'm going to be keeping my student planner and my happy notes. And this is my memory keeping planner. And then up here, I have this calendar from Rifle Paper Co. I got from Anthropology. I'm not sure they're selling it anymore, but that's where I got that. And then this candle, I believe, is from Home Goods, but I'm not positive. These containers are from Ikea, and I love the pattern. Splatter paint with the blush pink, it's so pretty. But in here, I have all of my letters from my childhood up to now, and so this box is super special. And then up here, it's just a little accessory, and then I have this picture of me and my mom in Disneyland, which I love. And then up there, that is my special box. I have so many keepsakes and papers and letters and notes and pictures from my childhood up to now. And then these are all of my Nutcracker program books from different years. This was last year's. And I have lots of old other programs from our studio's performances. So let me back up and just give y'all an overview of the space. I absolutely love how I've set this up. I'm not sure if this is the final setup, but this is pretty good for now. Now moving over here, this is my little chair area where I was just sitting talking to you guys. Um, I do Bible study here and sometimes I do schoolwork here if I'm feeling like I need a little bit more of a comfier situation. Um, I have this light from Ikea, the chair is from Ikea. And then these pillows, this is from Hobby Lobby and that pillow, I'm not sure where it's from. And then, like I said, this is where I do Bible studies. So my Bible stays here with some other books that are really pretty. I haven't put a picture in this frame, but it's from Ikea. And then this little cube set is also from Ikea. In this first basket, that's from Ikea. I keep all of my Bible study things. So this little um, pencil pouch is what I pull out when I'm doing Bible study. I also have a random clock that's not working anymore, but the rest of it in there is for Bible study. Down here, I have a little basket of blankets, unless I, in case I get cold or anything. And then in this basket, I have so many old notebooks. I used to journal and draw all the time when I was little, so that is a very heavy basket. Right here, I have um, books and just some of my favorites that I love that are really cute. And then I just, actually, this is a brand new thing. I know this isn't student related, but I thought I would share. This is a shelf from Ikea that we just set up. Um, and then I have just little things up here, like this little vase, I'm not sure what's from. This is from Ikea with that, that's also from Ikea. This candle, I have a little succulent that's from Ikea, that same print by Isabel. I will link her below, and then this little felt board with a little quote on it. So this is my little Bible study section that also I use, oh, and that lap tray right there is from Ikea. So this is also what I use for studying sometimes, but that is pretty much the whole setup. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that little tour. Okay, so now that I have shown you a little tour of my desk area, I am so excited to go set up my student planner and happy notes for the year, so let's go do that. Okay, let's set this planner up. The first thing I always love to do is add my name. So this time I'm using sticker letters instead of writing it. I'm using these black little scripty letters and they are so cute and some of my favorites from the fun alphabet sticker book. The next thing I always add to the front of my planner are some sticky notes. I love using those for studying and anything else I need. In the perpetual calendar section, I'm going to be writing all the holidays. And then when I know what tests I have what days, I will also be writing those out too. As I am writing out all the holidays, I am just looking back at the months in my planner just to double check that they are correct.
Now that I am done with that section of my planner, I'm going to go to the back and take out the next semester, the last six months of the school year, because I'm only doing going to keep one semester at a time in this planner. So I took all those out, and now it's a lot thinner, so I can start decorating my monthly spread. This time I used the Books Are Magic sticker book, the Teacher's Seasonal, and another seasonal sticker book. I'm not exactly sure what this month is going to look like, so I'm just adding a little bit of decoration. I do know that I will be putting when I have quizzes, tests, breaks, and all that kind of stuff on this monthly view, but right now I'm just adding cute little pencils, books, rainbows, and just making it super fun for the beginning of the year, and I'm also not forgetting to add the holidays and all that fun stuff. Right here, I was wanting to add a first day of fall sticker, but I could not find one, so I ended up writing it in with my Papermate flare pen, and it looked just as cute and was still super fun to add. In the weekly layout, all I added was a bookmark because that's all I need in that layout. And then I went to the back and started adding some of my papers that I think I might need during the year. So I sectioned it off with a bookmark and then added some half sheets with assignments and some other half sheets, some things from the student companion pack, which is one of my favorites, and just ones that I think will help me when I'm studying or needing extra room to write. I also added these fold out half sheets that I highly suggest for school. They are so cute and really new I think. I think they're from the student release and I am obsessed with them. I just got them. Now we're going to move on to my happy notes. This one is for my Algebra 2 notes that I'm actually going to be printing out and punching into this notebooks so I don't need all of this paper so I'm going to take the majority of it out of the different sections. I also added some extra fill of paper just in case I needed any. These are half sheets that have daily scheduling so it's so great for anything school related. So I added some of those that are big sized and then I also added some wild styled paper because studying on that paper will be so fun. So now it is time to label my dividers. I, there are three of them, so I'm going September, October, and November. A little tip for you guys, I use colorful boxes to label my dividers. I find ones that match the color of the tab, and then it works perfectly. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on my classic size happy notes. I'm going to be labeling this one for September, October, and November as well. This one is for my writing notes, so I will need all the paper and lots of room. I also am adding some accessories from the Farmhouse Companion Pack because it matches perfectly with this happy notes. So I decided to pull out this little card and punch it and add it to the front just to make it look a little bit cuter. And then I also added some paper in the back that is for studying and I also put in these half sheets from the Farmhouse Companion Pack that matched also really well with it. Mm -hmm. 
After I finished labeling the notebook, I added in this wild styled divider, so then I had it for that one. And then in the big one, I added another little bookmark divider just to mark where I will be when I'm taking notes. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you consider subscribing and liking and maybe commenting, and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.